the plumber said he can do my bathroom, but he cannot start until next Monday. In a few minutes, I might be meeting the doctor that's going to deliver my baby. Well, in a few minutes, I'm going to be meeting a doctor. He may or may not be the doctor that's going to be delivering my baby. Well, I met doctor nicely. What can I say? He treated me very nicely. I liked him. Unfortunately, he couldn't do anything other than check my baby's heartbeat and tell me to come back in a few weeks because... Sorry, my sunglasses have like grease on them and it was like giving me a headache to look through them. The other OBGYN's offices that I have previously visited had not yet sent this office my medical records. And because my vein is still not 100% recovered from the very painful, probably one of the worst ever of my life, blood draws done by their nurse at this office the last time, I have not yet gone to have the rest of my blood drawn because they have to draw it out of this vein. And up until yesterday, it was actually still hurting. There was a stabbing pain in the place they put the needle in to draw the blood the last time. That pain has now gone away. So before I go out of town, I will be getting the rest of my blood drawn, which brings me to the other news. The plumber said he can do my bathroom, but he cannot start until next Monday. So I might not be going out of town this week. I might be going out of town next week, or I might go out of town twice. I don't know. Anyway, that's how it went. Much better than the last time. I am now going to end this update and go elsewhere. Because I'm sitting in my car across the street from the doctor's office. And I think it's time for me to go. But I like that building. That old building with that little window. And that interesting roof. See that? Why? I'm making a dirt A dirt cloud? Yeah! I like the dirt cloud. That's my dirt. Hey! The problem with this is that my laundry machine is still broken, and so is my dryer. Get back! Get back, get back, get back! I did I, find a store that could order the oven I need, but I did not order a washer and dryer yet. Dirt bag. I am going to. I had it a dirt bag, Mommy. I'll go shopping there even though I can't stand going shopping there. If you want me to. Mommy, I sell you what to see. Give that to Daddy, please. Oh yeah? I guess I'm going to get us drinks and maybe some food. There's a possibility that a plumber might be about to arrive to give me another estimate for fixing my kitchen. The plumber that I hired to do my bathroom never gave me a complete estimate for the kitchen. Somebody else might be showing up. There is a possibility that they might show up while I am gone. Call me if anyone shows up while I'm gone, immediately. All right. Bye. I love you. Bye. Love you, Eugene. That's his response to me saying I love you. He's throwing dirt at me. If I look dismayed, that's because I am dismayed. My child is going to need a bath, and he's going to need new clothes, and that's going to use up clothes and towels and then I'm gonna to have to mop the floor, and I only have two mop heads for one mop and two for the other mop. So once I mop the floor one more time, I'm gonna to have to do laundry, or I won't be able to mop my floor. And somebody is supposed to come over to look at my house today and give me an estimate, and I'd like to mop the floor before he comes over. 
I'm just completely dismayed right now. Oh yeah, and the other thing I forgot to mention is that woman left her backpack and jacket and stuff here last night. She came by this morning, told me that the pregnancy test that I gave her was positive, and that that man who was trying to beat her up last night is loving and amazing, and her baby daddy, and that they're going to get a hotel room together tonight. I feel sorry for the owners of whatever hotel that they're going to get a room at. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to mention, whenever she showed up, Eugene asked her, Where's the bad guy? He was calling her boyfriend the bad guy. <sighs> After all that conversation about how bad guys in movies aren't real and how you don't have to be afraid of them, he thinks he met a real bad guy. So there really are bad guys to be afraid of. I am dismayed that my child saw that incident and also very dismayed that he heard curse words and repeated them during that incident. Ralph just left a fucking car here. It's a Kia and he wants to sell it for a hundred bucks. I just got home and there's a car without a license plate parked where I normally park. I think some random homeless guy that lives in the woods back there, he was like, you don't know Ralph. He, I, I was like, think you'll be back for it? He's like, you don't know Ralph. <laughs> Oh my God. Why are oh you saying, God. oh my God? You don't understand the condition of this car. My ex-girlfriend had the exact <laughs> same car. I hope hers had seats mint. in it. Oh yeah, it had a driver's seat, passenger seat. He rode here on a gas can. He rode here on a gas can. <laughs> Literally. Oh Literally. my goodness. He rode here on a gas can. I do not understand why people in this neighborhood, who are usually tweakers, think that they can just park abandoned cars in front of my house. I wish I could I say like, this was the first time, no, but this isn't the first time. Other people have done this as well. Yes, yes, other people have done this. He was like, I'm good.